what is going on everybody welcome back to our channel if you are watching this video i'm sure you are already familiar with what airflow is how it works and why it is used for in this video we are going to be focusing on how you can monitor your airflow environment as you can see on the right side we have nice visual dashboard in grafana where you can see useful information about your airflow environment and that's what we will be building today first of all we will be looking at the data flow diagram which will be focusing on how we will allow airflow to expose matrices over statst then from there we will export them to prometheus and from there we will build grafana dashboards and in the end i will be teaching you how you can write your custom matrices on top of the existing airflow matrices so let's get started so we have airflow running web server and the scheduler what we will do is allow airflow to expose the statst matrices on port 9124 now in order to view all of these matrices in prometheus we will be using statst exporter what it does is it takes the statst matrices from airflow and it converts them to prometheus format and makes it available for prometheus on port 9102 from which prometheus scraps all of these matrices from this statst exporter once we have that prometheus will be running on port number 9092 that's what we will be connecting it to grafana in order to build the dashboards and grafana web ui will be available on port number 3000 So that's the whole plan and let's start building. So looking at airflow documentations you can see in the matrices how you can enable them so you have to pass these parameters in the configs and airflow by default includes very useful informations in these stats including counters as how many tasks failed how many tasks succeeded scheduler heartbeat and what not. We will be starting off by our docker compose file that is pre configured to spin up an airflow environment in a local executor which i have mentioned this in the airflow configs as local executor and i'm passing in the sql alchemy uh, connection parameters as uh, mysql so we have like a bunch of components running here airflow init that runs the airflow database migration and creates the admin user then we have mysql we have scheduler and web server which uses airflow common that includes images and volume and uh, user and it depends on mysql pretty much state for its stuff if you are already familiar with how docker compose works but if you are not you can always refer to my previous video in which we are building this docker compose file from scratch and running up an airflow environment the link of the video is in the description below so first thing first let's add statst configs in our airflow under matrix session we have statst on is true and the statst host will be the address of the statst exporter that's where airflow will be sending its matrices to on port number 9025 and the prefix will be airflow now in our docker compose file we need to add the statst service we are using this specific statst exporter image and we will be passing in the configs to the statst exporter that is going to map the airflow configs to prometheus format then we have an entry point and the command as follows i'm i'm going to keep this log level to debug to view the insights on what's happening in this exporter and yeah we are mentioning that to use this provided config file and it has two ports one is the ingest port where it will be listening from the airflow 9125 and then it will be exposing all of those prometheus matrices on port number 9102 which is 9102 which is as a scrap port now let us add the statst mapping config in our configs directory here if you head over to the github page airflow dashboards from where we are going to pick up the statst config maps so just head over to statst config and uh, you need to copy paste this paste it over here So what this config is all about is it is converting all of those statst matrices and making them available as prometheus matrices as an example so this first star always refers to as prefix which in our case is airflow and everything next is referred to as exact airflow statst matrices mentioned over here so if you search for ti failures ti failure overall task instance failure let us look at some more complex one as an example this one so we have a prefix and ti.finish.star.star.star 
So the first tower refers to this one. The second tower refers to the tag ID, then the third one task ID, then the state. So let us search for this stats D matrix here. There it is. So the first tower is tag ID, then the task ID, then the state. So what it says is number of completed tasks in a given tag, right? So that's what it's doing. So it's telling that it's a counter and in Prometheus, this will be named as matrix A F A G G T I finish with the dynamic labeling as a flow ID as the prefix, then DAG ID, task ID, and state. And in the same way, all of the rest are mapped in the similar way. Based on these config maps, this repository also provides a pre-built Grafana JSON configs that is going to allow us to view this nice visualized dashboards. And last but not least, do not forget to give this guy a star because he deserves it. So our stats D config is pretty much configured. Now it's time to run Airflow and test whether we are receiving any matrices in our stats C exporter or not. If you are running this Docker Compose file for the first time, you have to make sure that you run Airflow in its service first. This is going to populate the required schema, which is needed for Airflow, including the admin user. But since I have already done it, so my SQL volume that I have already has the required schema. So I instead will be running up the scheduler and the web server directly. Airflow scheduler. I'm running this in a separate terminals just to get clear visibility of the logs for each of the service. And once the scheduler and the web server are up, then we are going to run the stats D exporter. As you can see, it's accepting the stats tree traffic on port 9125 and accepting Prometheus request on 9102. And of course, it is going to give us errors because one thing we forgot to do is in the Airflow configs, we haven't set it up the address over here. And that's why we are not receiving any matrices over here. So the stats D host for Airflow will be the name of the stats D service. And if we restart scheduler and web server, we should start seeing matrices in our stats D exporter if everything is all right. Oh, there you go. So yeah, we have incoming UDP packets coming from Airflow and we have stats D exporter, which is listening to all of these. Nice. So as you can see, all of the matrices are starting with the prefix Airflow. Now this stats D exporter should be exposing Prometheus matrices on port 9102. Now let us verify that on our browser. 9102. Nice. So we have stats exporter matrices. You click that and you are going to see all of those matrices. As an example, if you want to search for any matrices, which is mentioned in our mapping configs. So first, last, first task scheduling delay. Uh, yeah, of course you won't see this here because we haven't ran any task yet. So uh, let us uh, look for heartbeat, scheduler heartbeat, AFAGG scheduler heartbeat. So we have this, which is currently at 11 and it has label Airflow ID as Airflow. So at this point, we are confident that our Prometheus matrices are available. Now we can spin up our Prometheus instance and scrap all of these matrices from this given address which we are going to do this in our next video. Yeah, so this will kind of give you uh, time to digest and understand what we have done so far. So till then, I will see you in the next video. And yes, don't forget to like, share. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.